We have three jellies in the So Good range. We've got a strawberry jelly, an orange jelly, and then a green gauge jelly. So when they're made up, they look a bit like that. Okay. Also come in tubs, and the packaging is 500 grams each, and that will make two and a half liters of jelly. So I just want to show you the makeup of the strawberry jelly because the makeup for all three of them is exactly the same. I'm gonna do the makeup of it. I'm gonna take one cup of boiling water. It's very important to use boiling water because it melts the sugar and the gelatin that's actually inside and it helps with the setting part of it. Just mix it for a while to make sure it's completely dissolved. You can always see at the bottom whether the sugar is dissolved. There we go, and once that, then I'm adding a cup of cold water to that and just mixing it through. And then we can set that in the fridge. It should be set in about 30 to 40 minutes. So I've made up here, just to show you the color and the consistency of them, the strawberry, the orange, and the green gauge. And here I did a little robot effect. So red, orange, and green at the bottom. Now, of course, you can always top this with custard, um, and it's a nice dessert, and everybody loves jelly and custard. We're gonna make some custard now. It's an instant custard, so it's, it's really easy to make. Um, I'm just gonna show you the makeup of it again. It comes in a 500 gram packet, um, and you add one liter of water and one liter of milk to that, um, and it sets very nicely. So it's just the So Good custard. It's important to use long life milk uh, at room temperature. It helps with the setting of it, and also it extends the shelf life, of course, because the milk is homogenized um, and sterilized. If you use fresh milk, you only get one day shelf life out of it. Here we get up to five days if you're using long life milk. So I've measured off the milk and water. It's gonna add that to the custard powder. And we're just gonna whisk that up. So there's no cooking involved in this one. It really is just a mixing process. As it stands, it also thickens up more and more. But as you can see now, it's already starting to thicken up. It won't go completely hard, but it will still will go a little bit harder than runny. And there we have it. You can see it's quite nice and thick already. It's holding its shape. So I want to just show you what I did with the jellies and the custard. Um, I made a fruit trifle here some nice strawberries, there's some strawberry jelly, some of our baked pudding, which I put at the bottom, crumbled that up. There's some apricots and there's some blueberries on top. So it's layered jelly, jellies and custard in between, all the different layers up. But now we have to finish it off. So I've got some whipping cream here. So we're just gonna pipe that along. All over the top. Make a little rose there. And now I'm gonna just garnish it with some fresh granadilla or passion fruit. Just to make it look different and pretty on top. And then, of course, we have to put the cherry on top. So there goes the cherry. Let's garnish it with some cherries around. These are maraschino cherries. I 
and one last one. And there we have a delicious fruit trifle. So this is what you're going to make for Christmas this year.